peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. We're here in, we're not in nature, we're in the kitchen. Shiru and I, we've got something special for you. Yes. What do we got here? We have some raw almonds. We're going to be making almond milk. Now this is an alternative for people that don't drink dairy milk. We have something for you, for people who are on a plant-based diet, also for people that also drink regular milk. Yes, for people that are looking to cut down on the calories, on the cholesterol, um, and to just have a healthier alternative. For people who are also allergic um, or have lactose intolerant or casein or you know, and just wants to want to have something that is free of all those, um, all those uh, chemicals and all those unnecessary stuff. You love almonds. Yes, I do. I love almonds. So we can have an almond party. Yes. <laughs> Here is how to make the most amazing almond milk in five simple steps. Step one. So, you get some almonds, uh, whole almonds, soak them in water overnight or you can soak them for up to 48 hours. Step two. Um, when you take the soaked almonds, you will see that they have gotten bigger in size as they absorb some of the water and uh, they will be nice and plump and ready to be blended to make the almond milk. So you take them and you strain them, you strain the water out and you put them in a the blender. Step three. Okay, now they're ready to be blended. So we put the almonds in the blender and we add four cups of water per one cup of almonds. You can also add a little more water or less water depending on how thick or how thin you want your almond milk to be. And we let them blend for a minute or so. Step four. So, now that the almonds have been blended, uh, we are going to put them in a nut milk bag or a mesh bag, or we can even use che uh, cheesecloth and basically strain the liquid and separate the liquid from the pulp. The liquid will be our nice and creamy almond milk and the pulp which is also full of nutrients, we can put aside and use for later recipes. And lastly, step five. Okay, now that we have our almond milk and it's ready, we can put it in a container, in a glass, we can sweeten it with some um, dates or stevia or any type of natural sweetener, agave is also a good option. Or we can um, not add any sweeteners and use it in both sweet and savory dishes. Or some vanilla. Yes, or some chocolate. <laughs> the list is endless. Yes. Have yourself the most refreshing drink in the world because you are worth it. Yes. And once you have that nice, creamy, delicious, homemade almond milk, you're never going to go back to the store-bought stuff. It's just too good. Never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shiru and I, we're going to be making a lot of videos on food and nutrition, so be prepared. Send us your ideas, your recipes, even some of your own food. <laughs> <laughs> Also, um, I know we've made a video before about superfoods and maybe some of them are completely unfamiliar to you and you want to learn how to incorporate them to different recipes and um, add you know, new wholesome foods into your diet. So you know, feel free to reach out and let us know and we'll create more videos. Almond dance maybe? Oh, this is like salsa. <laughs> <laughs> And just a little bit of information about um, the calories, because I know for some people that is a concern, that is an issue. Although I think once you start eating healthy, wholesome foods, keeping track of calorie count is really not a big deal. But just to address that, uh, 
The same for a, a, an 8 ounce serving of cow milk, I think it contains about 160 calories, whereas for almond milk, it, that same amount, that same serving contains 40 to 60 calories. So it is lower in calories. Now some may say, oh, but almond milk is also lower in protein. It is lower in protein per serving, however, it's very high in calcium and vitamin D. So many benefits with almonds. Vitamin E, high in antioxidants, getting rid of free radicals. Copper, mm -hmm. which is fantastic for preserving the myelin sheath, which actually supports and protects your nerves. Your nervous system, yes. So you can keep calm. Yes. <laughs> all the time, wherever you are. Also, it's full of magnesium, which is improving the circulation. But enough of the science. We're here with the, the food expert. <laughs> we have a surprise for you. We blended the almond milk with dates and a banana and a sprinkle of cinnamon to create the most delicious smoothie in the world. Mm. Here it is. This is the moment of truth. Just wait. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Mmm. Mm. That is amazing. Delicious. Beyond words. So much fullness. Yes. So smooth and creamy and you can have also a smoothie mustache, you know that? Smoothie mustache. It's okay. very sexy. Let's try. Try it out. <laughs> it's so versatile and we didn't want to throw the pulp out so we created this delicious treat using the almond pulp um, dates coconut oil and raw chocolate so it's all raw unrefined and it's filled with yummy goodness so natural baby yeah try thank you this is the acts of kindness. You don't get this every day. Mmm. 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 So good. <laughs> Three mmms. I guess that's, that means it's delicious. <laughs> Taste some. Mmm. 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 They're nice. They hold together. At the same time, they're really soft and moist and tasty. Very, very tasty. Mm. Nature is so smart, it put the medicine in the food. We are here having a great time. Yes, making some almond milk. We're out here. In here. We're in here. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. Yay! Thank you.